Hello everyone. So to begin with, let me introduce myself. My name is Saurav Ghosh. I'm one of the co-founders of Giraffe, uh, which is a fintech platform into high yield alternate investments. Uh, a quick background about myself. Uh, I'm a computer science engineer from Bitspirani Goa campus. I then did my MBA from Ahmedabad. And for the last 10 years, I've been working in the corporate finance space where I've been raising capital for the company that I work with. So I've, I would say I have fairly good experience in the structured credit space that I raise capital from international private equities, uh, you know, international funds, domestic uh, funds, public sector banks, private sector banks and the likes. Uh, and that's, you know, the background to starting up with Giraffe as well. Uh, I'll start with a quick presentation of Giraffe that will help each, uh, you know, and everyone probably listening to this. So let me just share my screen. First, I would like to start with a quick background of the entire team. Uh, you know, I have already introduced myself and one of the key things that stand out about Giraffe is that uh, the entire leadership team are full of people with decades of experience in finance. Every Each and every one over here is a finance professional and brings something different to the table. My other co-founder, Vinit Agarwal, he started his career with the large corporate uh, bank, uh, Access Bank. And post that, he was with Piramal Capital, where he was the first 10 members of the team to you know, join their NBFC or private equity setup. For the last 10 years, he was with them and seen the journey from a 10-member team to almost a 1,000-member team. And I've seen a book grow from a $100 million book to, I think, almost a $10 billion book. Uh, uh, Vineet himself was managing almost over a billion dollars out of South India for Piramal. Uh, Vikas, he heads, you know, origination for us, investments for us. He has 15 years of experience in banking. He was with Kotak for the last nine years and was leading their BFIG group, which is the Banking and Financial Institution Group out of North India. He's also an alumnus of IIT Kharagpur and, and, and Lucknow. Uh, Kota, uh, Vikas brings a lot of experience from Kotak in dealing with traditional banking products and looks after the investments, uh, you know, especially of corporate debt, invoice discounting, you know, which are the traditional banking products that we have. Uh, Pratik, he's my batchmate from Ahmedabad. He was with RBS Bank, Royal Bank of Scotland in Hong Kong, then was with a private equity in India, Pravia Capital, then with a VC called One Crowd for the last five years. He's invested in probably more than 50 startups in the last five years and brings a lot of experience in the new age products of venture debt, revenue-based finance, as well as leasing. I think as a, uh, you know, uh, as a uh, fintech startup ourselves, uh, we are very proud that we are backed by some of the most well-known names in the industry. Uh, Axel, uh, you know, is one of the top five global VC firms in the world. Uh, and we are very happy that they have shown that faith in us as well. Uh, for people who don't know, Axel is one of the first investors of Facebook. Uh, in Back in India, you know, over here at home, they are the first investors of uh, Flipkart, Swiggy, Urban Company, and lots of, I would say, you know, startups that, which have made a mark in the world and in countries. Uh, Mankaker Family Office is a large equity investor based out of Mumbai. They are also backed by some of the more well-known entrepreneurs, uh, you know, in the country. Uh, what is What gives us a lot of you know, I would say pride is that uh, all of these people have shown faith in us. These guys have, you know, I would say themselves have a lot of credibility in the, uh, especially in the startup ecosystem. And uh, Giraffe being an investment platform, I think the cornerstone of success for us is the credibility and trust that we build with our customers and with our partners. And, you know, we are very happy that at least our investors have, you know, shown that tremendous faith in us which we would like to translate and, you know, take it forward with the partner and customer ecosystem. Uh, we are in an environment that uh, I would say is very uh, sensitive from a regulatory standpoint. And we are very happy that we are working with some of the best of the names to ensure that we are always, you know, I would say 200% compliant with everything that we do. So we work with the best of legal firms, Cyril Amarjan, Mangalda, J. Sagar Associate, with some of the best structuring institutions, uh, you know, Ernst & Young, and all, obviously banking with HDFC and ICICI Bank. Coming on to the, I would say, you know, the core topic itself. And I think, uh, you know, as Giraffe, what we do is we are trying to, you know, deepen the fixed income space. Before I get into, you know, how fixed income instruments are, beneficial and you know how it can help in a financial uh, investor's portfolio i think it is important to understand you know that with every decade the financial markets in the country is maturing 
uh, every 10 years we see a new investment product which becomes you know which goes from being exotic to very mainstream uh, that had happened with you know in the 1990s with uh, the equity markets with 2000s with mutual funds uh, you know and mutual funds in the 2000s uh, was only an hni product but you know today a person earning 50000 is comfortable you know doing 5000 to the sip every month in some mutual fund scheme so what we strongly believe at giraffe is that the next couple of decades will be for fixed income and fixed income instruments when we started off giraffe and you know vinith and i we kept debating on you know uh, what is a good retail asset class you know which has not taken off the only thing that always came to our mind was fixed income and you know globally 60 to 70 percent of investor monies are you know invested in fixed income products but that's not the case in india in india the only fixed income product that has done well are fixed deposits and uh, you know there's a long way for this asset class to you know go in the country and that's what we strongly believe here at giraffe uh, so just to begin with you know uh, one of the most important i would say uh, advantages of fixed income instruments is you are able to make goal based investments and uh, you know some of the uh, and this is a concept again in india which has not taken off so goal based investments have you know tried to categorize financial goals you know which are 30 days one year and 2 to 3 years in these buckets uh, largely you can have goal based investments which can be short term or medium term or even long term goals for long term goals you know equities i think is again a very stable asset class because equities over the long term has proven uh, you know that you will make positive returns you will make stable returns if you are investing say with a probably a 10 year view but you know if you are supposed to take a 30 day one year or a 2 3 year view with your money equities may not be the best asset class for you and that's where fixed income comes in now how can fixed income help with goal based investments i think the most important attribute of fixed income products is that you always know when your next payout is due and hence you can plan better so you know that you know when you are investing in a two year product this is how my cash flows will look like if i am investing for a six months product this is how my cash flows will look like so there is absolute certainty and visibility about your upcoming cash flows now as indians i think you know all of us have several uh, i would say financial dependencies goals you know which are in very different tenures and i've categor- i've just bucketed some of these over here so some of the financial goals we typically end up meeting and these are you know unknowing they, a lot of this is in, you know we know about them but subconsciously so every 30 days we pay our monthly emis we pay our credit card bills you know we pay our uh, rent you know for people staying uh, you know on a rented house a uh, lot of us have you know dependent children or dependent parents and then we are sending money home uh, you know for their expenses i would say these are all financial goals or investments uh, sorry financial goals that you will have in a 30 day recurring period uh, in a one year period you know uh, some uh, example of a financial goal is you know uh, planning for an international vacation so we probably set aside funds knowing that you know in nine months in a year you know i want to travel you know to an international destination uh, an example of financial goals in two to three years is you know buying an up- or upgrading your car you know planning for your child's education uh, planning for your son's or your daughter's wedding these are all financial goals that we have and none of these financial goals because they are you know sub 3 years uh, you know in a horizon of less than 3 years you can use equities as an asset class to plan for these so typically what we do today is that we keep our monies in fixed deposits we will keep our monies in liquid instruments which give us 5 6 7% return you know to ensure that we have that liquidity or we have the money when we need them this is where fixed income comes in right if you knew that there is a product for example where you can invest and you get money every 30 days you can meet all your 30 day goals just from that investment if you knew there is a product which matures in one year you can invest your money earning high yields knowing that within a year i will get that money back and i can go on my international vacation and so on and so forth for any two or three year product so the most critical attribute is with fixed income you know that when your money is due you know when your payout is due you can plan all your financials and you can make specific goal based investments with them now you know these are this is a slide where i'm just you know capturing all the different reasons uh, you know where fixed income investments become very very attractive and you know for every different investor there's something else that you know uh, becomes attractive for individuals especially with fixed income investments starting with and again the most you know critical point over here is that fixed income investments helps you diversify your portfolio 
Now, if you look at uh, you know equity as an asset class, what is the risk that you take when you invest in equity markets? The risk that you take is you're taking market risk. What does that mean? That means that you know there is a market environment. Uh, you know any impact on the external market environment impacts our portfolio. So tomorrow, if there is a U.S. election, there is a Ukraine-Russia war, there is a COVID in the country. All of these market, these are market events which impact my portfolio. Now, the most important thing with fixed income investments is that I am diversifying my risk. So in this slide, I have tried to capture the different attributes of fixed income investments and which make them very attractive for every individual's portfolio. Starting with diversification. I think the one of the biggest strengths of fixed income investments is that you are diversifying your portfolio from equity markets. When you invest in equity markets, the risk that you take is market risk. What does market risk mean? It means that there's tomorrow a US election, there is a Ukraine-Russia war, or there's a COVID you know, in the world or in the country. It impacts your equity portfolio. With fixed income investments, the most critical risk that you take is credit risk. So you are investing when you put even in with the case of fixed deposits when you park a fixed deposit with a bank the risk that you're taking is that the bank will remain solvent and the bank will be able to give you your fd when you liquidate it give you your fd money back that is an example of credit risk and with increasing credit risk you can have different examples so giving a loan to a company with the hope that the company will repay the loan is an example of credit risk so your diver, it does not matter whether there is a U.S. election, whether there is a COVID, uh, you know, uh, in the country, there is a war. The only thing that matters is, is, is the company strong enough to whom that you're giving your money that the company will repay. So it's a very different kind of risk to market risk, right? So the biggest advantage of fixed income investments is it helps you diversify your portfolio uh, and you're able to move from market risk to credit risk for a part of it. Second is high yields. This is the space that Giraffe caters to. We do uh, operate in the space what we call as high yield and fixed income. So traditionally, if you're investing in fixed income, you're mostly putting your money in fixed deposits or a PPS, but these are giving you very low yields of five, six, seven percent Today, you are able to earn high yields as well as it take you know, uh, exposure with fixed income instruments. So it's also becoming attractive because yields are much better. You are in fact earning equity like returns, uh, but taking credit risk or participating in fixed income instruments. Third, I have already spoken enough about gold based investments. Fourth is liquidity. So there are enough of fixed income investments which will give you your monies back in 30, 60, 90 days, 120 days, 160 days. So, you know, these are examples where you are able to invest in short tenor products and hence you are also able to have liquidity while earning good returns. Right. So if liquidity is one of your goals, then fixed income instruments of short tenors meets that goal. Next is something, you know, secondary income or what we call passive income. A lot of us, especially for senior citizens, retired individuals, you know, secondary income or passive income become very, very exciting. Uh, so again, fixed income investments can give you monthly payouts, quarterly payouts. You can invest in different kind of products to meet those financial needs. So if you want a monthly income, you know, which acts like a secondary or a passive income, you can invest in a product which is giving you monthly payouts. Last and foremost, it's also a very low effort investing. So investing with fixed income instruments is very good because you don't need to pick the right stock. You don't need to know when to enter, when to exit. You don't need to check your portfolio every day. You make an investment once and you know that for the next two years, one year or 60 days, I'm going to get this return and this return is fixed. So it's very low effort investing and not a very involved or active exercise like equity investing. So what does Giraffe do? You know, so Giraffe operates in what we call as a high yield fixed income space. So on one side, on the right side, we work with a set of companies who you can say are borrowers. These companies can be both traditional and startup. And these companies, uh, we help them get access to working capital. So we give working capital in different forms and there are various names which I will cover you know, ahead in the presentation. But we provide these companies with various kind of working capital solutions. These working capital solutions then are risk assessed and we pick and choose those transactions where we like the credit quality. Once those transactions uh, are risk assessed and we approve them in our internal ICs, these get listed on the platform, which get and 
once listed on the platform these opportunities are then accessible to retail individual investors for participation so essentially what we do is on one side we work with companies both traditional and startups to provide various kinds of working capital solution we are packaging them structuring them using regulated products and instruments and allowing retail investors to directly participate in them another analogy of this would be today you give your money to banks to at 4% 5% in savings bank or through a fixed deposit how do the banks or uh, banks make money they further give loans to companies at 12 13 15% -15 and they earn the spread between what the company pays them at interest and what the bank gives you as interest now what is giraffe doing giraffe uh, in is what is adding the layer where giraffe is doing the heavy lifting of sourcing these opportunities of doing the risk assessment and then allowing you to directly participate so instead of investing your money at 4 5% with the bank you can directly invest these monies directly with these companies and earn a much higher yield so this is the space that we operate is what again repeating what we call as high yield and fixed income the working capital solutions that we provide to companies can be in various ways and these are five names you know that we call uh, the first one is ncds and mnds or ngfc these are basically you know you can uh, refer to them as rated papers uh, second is something that we do is uh, supply chain financing or invoice discounting the third one is corporate debt corporate debt is nothing but giving you know a straight up debt or loan to companies uh, the next product is leasing Uh, leasing is a product where we help companies convert their capex to opex and the last product is for the startup ecosystem which is venture debt or revenue based finance now in all of these five products if you see that what we essentially do as giraffe is we operate in the space where fixed income become very very attractive so all our products on the platform and you can see will range typically between 8% to 20% in yields and will be from 30 days to 3 years in tenor we don't do anything more than 3 years because we feel that if you are looking at a medium to short term investments a medium to long term investments fixed income becomes less attractive and fixed income is very attractive in the 0 to 3 year space which is where we cater the minimum ticket size is 1 lakh on the platform so these a lot of these products were available to hni through you know aif some structured credit funds etc but retail individual investors never had access to these kind of products so by making the investment amount a minimum of 1 lakh we are opening up the doors we are democratizing this space where every individual investor can have access to these kind of products the some of the uh, products over here are the minimum 5 lakhs and that is because that the risk appetite is slightly on the higher side that is required and again we want people who understand these products to participate by uh, and you know having a higher ticket size ensures that you know people are spending that much more time energy and effort to understand the transactions before participating i will cover each of these you know one by one as we move ahead as well so let me just you know quickly skip to uh, what each of these products mean so what is corporate debt and you know i've uh, there were two names over there in the earlier slide so i've split corporate debt into rated ncds and structured corporate debt so corporate debt as given is a loan given to a company can be termed as a corporate debt as simple as that the difference between rated ncds and structured corporate debt is in rated ncds there is you are giving money to a company based on that company's operational and balance sheet strength so the only thing that we typically look at is a rating a rating agency like crisil care ikra they will do a thorough analysis of the company's operations their balance sheet their financial position etc and they typically give a rating these ratings because now are very standardized from triple a to triple b minus or even lower for you know companies that are not doing so well uh, you don't need to do a analysis over and beyond these so these um, these become a standardized rating that people can evaluate the company and their financial strength with right so typically you see rated nbfcs like shri ram muttu you know and these uh, guys raising money from the public markets large companies like reliance hdfc startas government psus also use rated papers to raise funds now where the giraffe operates in this space is we typically work with the second level of rated companies so we don't do triple a double a rated because there's not much value that giraffe can add over there we typically work with you know from triple b minus to a a minus you know kind of a rated companies which is again in the higher space in this because giraffe does our own analysis other than the simple rating which a care of crisil does 
we are able to understand the company's business in a much better way in a much more granular way and we take our we form our own view over and above what the rating agency has done typically again because these are short term instruments that we do 12 months 15 months 18 months uh you know we are able to take a call on the credit of this company over a short tenor of 12 to 18 months these are we a rated paper which will not have, which will be tenor agnostic so when a rating agency looks at a company it will look at it from a long term you know sustenance point of view but we are looking whether the company is you know credit worthy enough and what are the risks to the operation of the company in the next 12 to 18 months so we are able to add our own layer of analysis and we believe that we are able to pick and choose those companies with good credit quality with these rated papers the second is structured corporate debt structured corporate debt is you know again is is a debt given to a company but typically these debts are secured by some hard collateral or some identified cash flows so instead of plainly depending that the company has a very strong balance sheet and has good future ahead of, you know for themselves or is growing etc etc we look at a hard asset or identified cash flows for example a manufacturing plant with identified cash flows a warehouse with identified cash flows a real estate project with identified cash flows so these are examples where you have identified cash flows so we are able to in addition to the uh, operations of the company we look at the uh, you know financial viability of funding a particular asset within the company that can be a real estate project a manufacturing plant or a logistic warehouse and we we see that whether that project is good enough to repay our debt these are secured in addition to you know the hard collateral itself you typically have a corporate guarantee personal guarantee uh, you know uh, and these kind of security uh, comforts as well so that's why these are structured corporate debt so typically yields will be between 12 to 17 18% and hence that they, they are typically you know uh, more risky than rated papers because you are working with you know i would say companies with maybe a 500 crore 1000 crore turnover and not maybe a 5000 10000 crore turnover what is it you know what it typically will be for rated papers so these are you know broadly the difference uh, which is basically the risk profile of the companies that we work with uh, inverse discounting is has been a very traditional product and all banks and nbfcs do it so uh, whenever a company provides services or materials or you know uh, some kind of a of goods delivered to a company they typically raise an invoice against the services provided or the goods delivered now this once they have raised the invoice this becomes receivables for them we discount these receivables and you know give it to these companies which helps them meet their working capital cycles so typically when a company provides services or delivers goods that company would have made the their own expenses today you know so now if the receivable from the counterparty is due after 60 90 days this 60 90 days becomes a working capital gap for them so because they are spending money today collecting after 90 days so this is the gap which we help bridge by doing a product called invoice discounting this is typically a short term product of 30 60 90 days here we take two comfort one is on the comfort of the vendor the vendor is basically the company providing services or goods Uh, and as well as the anchor anchor is the one who supposed to make payment so there is we do a credit check on dual aspects and you know based on that we decide whether this is a invoice that we should discount or not third is a product called asset back leasing uh, this is as i mentioned it's a you know you can think of it as a simple contractual arrangement like a lease so you know it's a similar to you know let's say you have bought a house and you are given out on rent right you now you against the uh, the rent that you are given it out for you are getting monthly rental payments you can replace this house with now any asset it can be vehicles it can be equipments it can be any movable immovable asset that is what leasing it is right how does in how do you make a financial product out of this essentially what you do is that you help companies convert their capex to opex so for example let's say a company wants to buy a data server for 1 crore now for this it company if it's not a infosys maybe one crore is a large amount to buy a data server today so what it can do is it can come to you and it can take that data server on lease instead of making that one crore expense and pay you a lease rental over let's say a period of 24 or 36 months now you as an investor or we as a group through giraffe what we do is you buy the asset you buy the asset and so you spend that one crore upfront 
and now you are collecting monthly rentals from this company now this the rentals uh, are paid out monthly and at the end of the tenor either the asset becomes free for the company or they will buy it back at a certain predetermined price in both cases so you have got now monthly cash flows plus maybe or may not be some money at the end of the lease tenor if you look at all your cash flows against your initial investment this is then you will see that you will make probably a return of 14 15 18% in transaction like this why do we like this because in leasing you as an investor you have direct ownership of the asset because you have paid for the asset up front you own the asset and then you are given it out on lease so tomorrow if the counterparty does not make rental payments you still have the asset ownership you can cancel the lease contract or and sell the asset in the secondary market or you can give it out on lease to another party so you know in that sense the security is better and uh, you know you're still able to earn those high yields in the product like this uh, there's a lot of text on this slide which i'm sure people can go through you know based on their uh, you know interest the last product is venture debt so this is a product which has come up in the last 4 5 years with the boom of the startup ecosystem so any debt you know typically we give to traditional companies and then you know people uh, the way we understood traditional debt was you know we looked at balance sheets we used to look at profitability numbers we used to look at growth etc etc and then decide whether the company is credit worthy or not but with the startup boom and you know with this new entire ecosystem coming up there is a need to evaluate companies with negative cash flows so how do you evaluate a company which is not making profit or is making or is you know working on a negative cash flow model now giving a debt to these kind of companies is essentially venture debt now the risk assessment of this is completely different because you know you are now evaluating a company with with negative cash flows or with uh, you know negative basically making losses right so uh, there is a different structure and you know i would say a risk assessment framework for companies like these but typically because these are startups of smaller scale in venture that you will typically see very high returns between i would say 16 to 20 even 24% so going back to this slide i think i have covered all the products that jiraf does from you know rated corporate papers to supply chain financing to structured corporate debt to leasing and then to venture debt or revenue based finance as jiraf ourselves we are a fairly young organization we went live as a platform last year in september 2020 month so uh, these are a month dated numbers so you know as of i would say may 31st we had uh, done more than 340 crore of transaction volume as we stand we have done almost 375 crore of transaction volume we have returned you know 175 crore of capital the team size is the same and uh, you know we have not seen any delays or defaults till date but uh, you know i would like to highlight that you know while there are no delays and defaults till date uh, you know we uh, try to manage and mitigate risk as much as possible but you know there is no free lunch in this world and with high yield comes higher risk so you should always evaluate the risk understand the products that you are doing and then participate in these kind of transactions uh, i wanted to cover this why should you look at a platform like jiraf i think what we are trying to do is basically be the platform that you need for everything that is fixed income so today we want to be that single platform where you are able to create a fixed income portfolio so we have all products catering to all needs that a financial investor might have so if you want a 30 day product you want a 3 year product you want a 10% product you want a 20% product and the entire range you will find on giraf so you can create a meaningful portfolio the minimum ticket size is 1 lakh so we suggest that you create a portfolio of 5 to 10 investments you know that means invest 5 to 10 lakhs in the fixed income space and create a meaningful diversified portfolio you will have enough of choice right from tenors yields and risk cap you know risk profiles for you to choose from second is you know the idea was to make the these products accessible to as many people as possible so we are very we have a very seamless digital interface you can you know complete login do your kyc and invest in probably less than 5 minutes we will have a very interactive dashboard with all relevant details you know which will help you monitor your investments uh, you know once you have made it third and you know i would say one of the most important thing is you know we are finally a team uh, and not only vinith and me but you know the entire 51 member team i think uh, you know a large part of the team are run by finance professionals we all of have decades of experience uh, you know in this space uh marquee investors have shown you know faith in us 
and we are trying to you know create the most credible and transparent platform for fixed income products out there so we would you know request each and every one to come log in to jiras see what products are available start with the minimum size of 1 lakh we are in no hurry to grow as a as an organization so please take your time understand these products we are here for the next many decades and the important thing is for you to understand these products and see whether it can help you build a meaningful portfolio finally it's always with any new asset class or investment product you should always know the risks and you know how do you navigate the space right so as i mentioned there is no free lunch in this world so any high yield products comes with high risk we we are always there to you know hand hold you uh, as giraffe we obviously the know that the cornerstone of our success would be our risk practices so as a team we have an investment team we have a credit risk team we then have an investment committee so pretty much work like a bank or nbfc or any you know fund would uh, we try to you know have a very rigorous due diligence process and a very rigorous process you know where we don't compromise at all to ensure that we are able to bring the best quality opportunities from a credit perspective to the platform but these are end of the day you know high yield opportunities and like any bank or nbfc will you know see defaults uh, you know from time to time we believe that over a period of time you know like any good quality bank like kotak or bajaj finance or hdfc you know while we might see defaults you know the numbers will be uh, minimal so at the long term average for most of these banks have been less than 1% on the npa side uh, you know we uh, hope to do much better than that but you know i think from uh, from a risk standpoint you should know that there is always a chance that you lose part or entire of your capital so the most important thing is diversify right so how do you mitigate risk diversified portfolio and invest across a minimum five opportunities you can choose products with higher frequency of payouts which ensure the exposure keeps reducing with time so i just summarize that what we do as giraffe to mitigate risk right one is we work in only the short term space right all our products are sub 3 years now most of the banks you know or nbfcs they lend for 5 years 7 years 9 years and that is where it becomes very difficult to assess risk we are only doing short term products we know the state of the organization or the company very well today with a reasonable certainty we know how it will perform in the next one year and then obviously we make our assumptions for a two year three year frame which is extremely conservative because we are doing some kind of debt underwriting but at the end of the day we are doing sub three year opportunities and it is easier to assess risk of a company because the only view that we need to take is how the company will perform over the next two or three years so one is the short term nature of products makes it easier to assess this second is every product that we do on a platform they have a higher frequency of payout so all our products will have monthly quarterly some kind of periodic payouts what that helps is that with time your exposure to any one particular investment reduces right now if you add that so let's say you invest in a three year product at the end of two years you may have 70 or 80% capital already paid out maybe at the end of one year you have 30 40% of your capital already paid out so your exposure to opportunity reduced we know how the company will perform with reasonable certainty maybe for the next one year 18 months you know and then the balance tenure even if you are consider as an uncertain period your exposure to a particular investment will be minimal because periodic payouts have happened now if you add periodic payouts short term investments as well as diversified portfolio the overall risk you know and the overall impact on your portfolio will be minimal even in case of defaults so it's very important you that you diversify risks understand what products that you are investing in and what is the frequency of payouts for them lastly as giraffe obviously you know most of the products that we do they are collateral asset back secured so we will try to, we as i already mentioned we have hired the best of law firms and all our documents are very extremely watertight from a legal perspective there will be steps to monetize these collateral there will be steps for equal recourse but these are not something that we rely on we want to ensure that you know we minimize the risk of default through a very rigorous risk assessment process and that is what we do uh, if for any unforeseen situation we you know enter into a period or into a transaction where there is a default at some stage we will you know obviously do our best and take the necessary steps to you know through the recourse and monetization of the assets and collateral that we have
but again these are just i would say mitigants you this is not something that you should rely on while making an investment this is you know about it and you know i hope you understood what we do as giraffe finally i think you know as for all our partners what i would want, want to take you all through is uh, you know we are very committed to the entire partner ecosystem we want to grow together end of the day you know we want you to understand these products you know well enough so that you are explain you know you are able to explain to your clients right the i think there are two main reasons why you should look at fixed income investments one is i think you know over the last few years as the more traditional asset classes become mainstream i think you know payouts for partners and uh, you know financial advisors have kept reducing in the traditional asset class space so you know new investment asset classes will will keep coming up and this is a space which will give you higher payouts second and most important is you know it is what is right for your client so i think fixed income as an asset class is very meaningful for every individual's portfolio and you should definitely start you know recommending them to your client to diversify your client's portfolio risk right third is you know as giraffe we are extremely committed to you know the partner ecosystem we have in fact built the entire platform a tech platform you know to make the experience of partners interacting with us very very seamless uh and i will take you to the partner uh, you know portal that we have built to give you a short demo uh, to understand or to know how to get empaneled with giraffe please log on to or uh, you know sorry send a email to partners@giraffe.com and uh, you know someone from the team will reach out to you and help you get uh, empaneled so i think this before you know concluding the presentation i just wanted to summarize that why you know all our uh, why i urge all our financial you know partners and advisors to check out giraffe and the fixed income space so first and foremost you know the uh, payouts with traditional asset classes have been reducing as and when they become mainstream fixed income as an asset class especially the high yield fixed income space is largely exotic the payouts are uh, you know much better than traditional asset classes today and i urge you to you know check it out uh, you know for yourself the second is that fixed income as i have you know mentioned many times in this presentation is that it is a right product for every investor's portfolio it is right for your client and hence you should advise them to at least participate with 5 to 10% of their overall portfolio in the fixed income space so i urge you that you know you understand these products and then you know as and when you understand and get comfort start taking your you know taking these products to your clients where they can you know start with small sums and experimenting with them we as giraffe are extremely committed to the partner ecosystem we believe that you know we can collaborate together and there's a lot of uh, ways for us to collaborate and grow together you know and for that we have built an entire tech platform catering to the startup ecosystem itself uh and i'll just take you through that so i hope you can see my screen this is a test uh, environment uh the partner portal is called partner.giraffe.com you would first need to get empaneled and registered with us for you know before you have a sign in and a login for this partner portal for getting empaneled you can send us a mail to partners@giraffe.com if you send a mail to partners@giraffe.com someone from our team will reach out to you i just wanted to take you through how this partner portal looks and what functionalities it has so first you know you can see a dashboard with a link which is customized for you so what this does is that once you send these links to your clients and if they register on giraffe using this link they will be tagged to you for life so every transaction that the investor does with or without knowledge will be tagged to you and you will get your payout as a well. the second is you know you can see a list of all investors and where they are in their journey from their registration date to their kyc status to their invested amount this will help you keep a track of you know how your investors and clients are participating on the giraffe platform and also keep you updated at all points in time thirdly we understand that you know most of these in, uh, clients of yours would have done or share kyc documents with you at some stage you know in your relationship with them we don't want your clients to go through that entire process again with giraffe so we have given the functionality where you can onboard your clients and investors on their behalf so you know you can select them as an individual or nri these are some of the details that will be required from contact pan address proof bank details etc so with this you can onboard the investor and do the kyc on their behalf so their experience is hassle free 
this partner portal was launched only last month and these are the functional functionality that we have added we will also be adding functionalities like you know making investments on behalf of your clients where only an approval needs to go to your investor and so on and so forth we have a dedicated technology team only for this partner portal and we will keep making this richer and richer with time and we will always be there to help you support you and you know the idea is to grow together right thank you so much